Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I recently stumbled across a marketing campaign for a new hair care brand launch. No, nope, I said that wrong. I came across a marketing campaign from a hair care brand for a new product launch and I came across it because I was actually tagged in the video several times on TikTok. So many people were really more or less mesmerized by this campaign because of how incredible the results seemed. And after taking a look at the video on TikTok and this new product launch and the way that the brand was marketing the product, I felt very inspired to sit down and film a YouTube video talking all about this misleading marketing tactic. If you are new to my channel, then you may not know that I am currently studying to get my trichology certification, but I also have a marketing degree from the University of Wisconsin. Because of those two things, I feel like I just have maybe a little bit more of a unique advantage when it comes to spotting misleading marketing campaigns and really being able to pinpoint where brands are kind of using their words intentionally and strategically to get us to spend our money on their products. All right, let's just jump on into it and take a look at this video that I was tagged in over on TikTok. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't it great? It does look great, I'll give you that. So this is a new product from Brio Geo Hair Care and their caption says, it's the hair magic for us with a magic wand. Our new Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Treatment visibly seals up to 100% of split ends after two uses. So as somebody who has a particular interest in hair science, I ran over to their website immediately to take a look at this product and what they were saying about it on their website. So let's look at that. Cars are loud today out there, sorry. All right, here we have it. They say it's trending now, and it is called the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Moisture Plus Damage Defense Leave-In Treatment. It's claimed to be a lightweight leave-in treatment that's scientifically proven to visibly seal up to 100% of split ends after two uses. As you can see from the image that they have here on this product description page, they show a hair strand that is split in two. It looks very distressed and damaged. Then they show after one use, of this product, how that split end is definitely closer together, but after two uses, how it's pretty much fully sealed back together, except for that very tip end of the strand. Other claims about this product include that it is infused with biomimetic lipids and it's an easy to use leave-in treatment that strengthens and repairs damaged hair with no downtime. Let me look up the exact definition of biomimetic just so I can make sure we're on the same page. Okay, the exact definition of biomimetic is relating to or denoting synthetic methods which mimic biochemical processes. I do know that K18 uses that terminology to describe their products, so that's probably why Briogeo decided to use that word, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything in particular. That's like a pretty broad definition. This is supposed to be good for dry, brittle, damaged hair of all types and textures. They say it delivers natural, powerful results. Again, they're showing more before and afters, extremely damaged looking hair strands that are magically sealed after use. The clinical claims in particular are that this, again, visibly seals up to 100% of split ends after two uses, that it's scientifically proven to prevent hair breakage, and that it's scientifically proven to boost hair moisture by up to five times after two uses. So a lot of very persuasive claims and even more persuasive imaging. These images definitely would make me want to use this product if I didn't know anything about hair science because it looks amazing. But the reason why I just immediately zeroed in on this product and wanted to take a critical look at the way that they were describing it is because once your hair has split like that and is physically broken in two, there is nothing that you can do to permanently reseal the hair back together. You can't like use a product to re-glue the hair and then have it refuse back together and be back to the way that it was before it was broken. At least up until this point in time, there has not been a single product out there that is able to do that to the hair. So no offense to Briogeo, but I was very suspicious of their ability to create a product like that. So I wanted to look into it further with a more critical eye. And part of doing that definitely includes taking a look at the ingredients list to see if we can spot anything on that list that would potentially have the ability to do that. The first three ingredients are water, glycerin, and cedar oil 
alcohol. So a solvent, a hydrator, and a fatty alcohol that serves as an emollient. You will find these ingredients in so many hair care products and just so many cosmetic products at that. There's nothing about those ingredients that are going to reseal split ends permanently. So we can move right along. After that, we have two more emollients, including hydrogenated castor oil and brassica oil. Brassica oil is actually a fatty alcohol as well. Again, nothing in either of those ingredients that can magically, magic wand, repair our hair. After that, we have quite a few different plant-based oils like argan oil, rose fruit oil, coconut oil, some plant extracts, more standard emollients, viscosity controlling ingredients, and stabilizers, including things like caprylic triglyceride, brassic, this word, brassicil isoleucinate esalate, xanthan gum, hydrogenated lecithin. So far, still nothing here that can do that. Shea butter, which is a really nice, rich conditioning ingredient. Arginine is an amino acid. Sclerodium gum is a thickener. And then after that, we have panthenol, vitamin E, and ceramide NP, which are great ingredients for the skin for sure, not necessarily proven to benefit the hair in the same way. The data is just not there. So we don't know, but those ingredients are definitely not permanently resealing split ends. And then to wrap up this ingredients list, we have fragrance, which of course is going to add a nice scent to the product, as well as some buffering, chelating, preservative-y type ingredients, which of course are just needed to formulate the product, including citric acid, capryl hydroxamic acid, and benzyl alcohol. So unless I'm missing something, there's nothing in this product that can do what they are claiming this product will do. And the key ingredients that they particularly call out include argon coconut and rosehip oil definitely would be nice nourishing conditioning oils for the hair but not going to provide repair algae extract not a proven ingredient for the hair a naturally derived repair copolymer that is claimed to bond and seal the lifted and damaged hair cuticle the only copolymer ingredient on here is hydrogenated castor oil otherwise listed as sebaceic acid copolymer this is an ingredient that is a film former on the hair and just in quickly looking online, I was able to see that it's something that's considered to be a natural alternative to silicone. So brands like Briogeo that make claims about being natural and clean will use ingredients like this in place of silicone since they don't use silicones in their products. So it's definitely true that film forming ingredients are beneficial for damaged hair and like they're suggesting can kind of help to seal a lifted cuticle, which is the same thing as a damaged cuticle because they form that film on the hair. It's kind of like a protective protective film around the hair, a protective barrier, but it's not something that is penetrating the hair fiber and permanently repairing damage from the inside out. It's like a temporary layer of protection until that ingredient is washed off. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely think it is critical to use products with ingredients like that in order to protect damaged hair, but there's a very big difference between doing that and actually permanently repairing the hair fiber. Oh, okay, so this is where they integrate this biomimetic word. They say that ceramides are biomimetic lipids that strengthen and reinforce the hair cuticle. Most of the research out there talking about ceramides and hair care specifically discuss the use of ceramides on the scalp for hair growth. So there are several papers on that, but there was one paper published in 2002 that said that ceramides were able to bind to the hair and in turn help to resist hair breakage. So I don't wanna discount that, that's great to see, but at the same time, there are so many other ingredients out there that have also been shown to be able to help to prevent breakage. And again, there's a really big difference between preventing breakage and permanently repairing damage. Both are critical to healthy hair growth, but they're very different things. So if there's nothing in this product that can actually permanently repair damage and permanently seal split ends, I think the question becomes what really is going on here then? How can Briogeo make claims like this? How do you explain these amazing before and after images of the hair strands where that split fiber definitely looks sealed? What I personally think is going on here is basically the same thing that goes on with any leave-in conditioning product that has the ability to form a film around the hair. And that's just that this is likely a leave-in conditioning treatment that does a really good job at coating and smoothing the hair and in turn protecting and conditioning it. Just like so many other leave-in conditioning products out there. This is certainly not the first product of its kind. There are so many other products out there that claim to be split end menders or smoothing sealing treatments. And even if 
if they're not using the same exact ingredients, they're all doing the same kind of thing to the hair. They're depositing these film forming ingredients that do a really good job of sealing the cuticle and making the hair look really smooth and sleek and conditioned. And there's a couple different ways that you can test this out for yourself. I think the easiest way is to just take a split end and apply a little bit of a hair oil to the end of it. And you will see that that split seals right up. Also, if you were to wash your hair and let it dry without applying any sort of leave-in conditioning product, no spray, no cream, no lotion, no oil, versus washing your hair, applying a leave-in conditioner that does a really good job at coating the hair, and then drying it, you would see a huge difference in how your hair looked. Without any sort of leave-in conditioning product, it's definitely going to look frizzier and more damaged, and you're going to be able to see breakage and flyaways significantly easier than you would with these really nicely coating leave-in conditioning products. And knowing all of that, I'm sure a lot of people may be wondering how Briogeo was able to get away with this, and how they can just flat out lie in their marketing campaign, but that is where my marketing brain came in because if you take a close look at the way that they are describing this product, they're actually not lying. They're telling the truth. Notice how they specifically say that this will visibly seal up to 100% of split ends. They don't say that this is going to permanently repair the hair so that split ends are sealed. They don't even say that this will seal split ends. They say it will visibly seal, which just means that the benefits that you're going to see are visual and that you know, it's not a bad thing. Of course, that is really nice. But again, that's pretty much what any leave-in conditioning product is going to do for you. And the reason why they are able to kind of get away with using that is because a lot of consumers believe that that terminology just means that you get such good results that you can see them, that the repair is so amazing or the change in your hair, or your skin, or, you know, whatever it is that you're using a product on is so amazing that you will actually be able to visually see results. And while that definitely is the case with ingredients that do actually provide some sort of chemical or physical change. I think it's very, very telling when that is the only sort of claim that a brand makes about repair or about whatever change is going on. If all they say is that this is going to visibly seal split ends, then you can safely assume that this is not doing anything at the fiber level to actually repair your hair. Also, the fact that they're saying that this can visibly seal up to 100% of split ends is very intentional as well, because as a consumer reading that, you are persuaded to think that that means that this product is going to fix every strand of hair on your head, 100% of the strands. But they can say that if this just seals one split end. It's up to 100%, it's just not quite there yet. And I feel like it's important for me to mention here that I did not make this video to bash Briogeo as a brand. I'm not trying to say that this product is bad or they have bad products or they're a shady brand or a bad brand or a brand that you shouldn't purchase from. Really nothing like that if I'm being totally honest. I just saw this and was like, gosh, I can see just even in the comments, how many people are easily persuaded by really, really amazing marketing strategies like this. And I just wanna shed some light on how the brand is able to kind of get around this and what really is going on here so that you can apply these learnings to any sort of product that you're taking a look at. Any launch, any other marketing campaign, I hope that this encourages you to read between the lines a little bit and not take everything that a brand is telling you at face value so that you don't waste your money and you can be strategic with your money so that you can actually get the best bang for your buck. I actually have seen some comments on TikTok from people saying that they bought this product because of Briogeo's original video, they got suckered into it, but they actually really enjoy the way that this product makes their hair look and feel, and that's great. Again, I'm not trying to suggest that this is a bad product by any means. I'm just trying to suggest that it's not what the brand is suggesting that it is. Like, this is just a nice leave-in conditioner. Let's just call it what it is. I actually thought that their comment section on this video was very interesting because somebody commented appropriately that this is just the split end coming together because it's liquid. <laughs> True. And they kind of doubled down by saying, water can make split ends look sealed, but when they dry, they split again. Our don't despair repair leave-in treatment visibly seals them, my alarm, so your ends stay fresh between trims. Again, water can make split ends look sealed, but our product visibly seals them. 
Is that not the same exact thing? Someone asks, what does it do? Again, they say it visibly seals up to 100% of split ends after two uses. Someone said, they turn the hair, LOL. Oh, maybe saying like, you can't see the split anymore because they turned it away. They said, we promise we didn't turn it. It's just our repair technology sealing the split. So I didn't realize they commented that. So they do have some comments saying that this has repair technology, but notice how they didn't say that anywhere on their website. I'm sure whoever is responsible for these social media comments just like doesn't know that they shouldn't say that because it's not a repair technology. It is a conditioning sealing technology. Someone else commented, it doesn't seal ends. It just weighs it down until you wash again, LOL. Yes. There's no treatment for split ends other than cutting them. Yes, again. So they just kind of discredited their own marketing campaign here by saying, yeah, you actually can't permanently seal split ends. The only thing you can do to get rid of them is cut them, but this just seals them so you can go longer between trims. I think you guys get it by now and understand what I am trying to get at with this video. Hopefully this kind of opened your eyes a bit to the whole world of beauty industry marketing. It is a very interesting world to say the least. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am super curious to know if you guys saw this original video from Briogeo, what your thoughts were, or if you didn't, what your thoughts are after seeing this video. And if there are any other brands that have marketing campaigns kind of like this, maybe not related to split ends, but anything else in the world of hair or skin, definitely let me know in the comments and or tag me in those videos on Instagram and TikTok. I definitely can do more videos like this if you guys are interested in that, just kind of breaking down these marketing campaigns, really getting to the bottom of what's true and what's not. I personally find it super interesting and I hope that you guys do as well. So if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more from me like this, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.